Hi, you guys. My computer light was like super bright. So we're gonna turn it down. It's back. Okay. I'm gonna give it just a second. Hi. There we go. It's kind of getting chilly in my house. Hello, hello. Hey everybody. Hi. Can everybody hear me okay? Sorry, I'm like I'm picking my face right there. I think I have a bug bite. It itches. Hello. You can hear me okay, perfect. <sighs> How long does it take me to straighten my hair? Like two seconds, honestly. Um, so my hair was like pencil thin. Um, so if you look at the bottom here, this is all the thick my hair was. Um, hair, skin, and nails, like all of my hair is growing. Um, so if you actually look towards the top, it's so much thicker up here. So it's just catching up with the rest of the hair. Um, but it takes me two seconds. It takes me a little longer to dry it. But it's not overly thick. My hair's just been super pencil straight. Um, curling it takes me about an hour. I just do it in a couple sections. And so it's not bad. It's more so like just wanting to do something with it. I usually just throw it all up in a big old bun. <laughs> so... Hi, you guys. So, I'm going to give it just one more minute, and then we're going to start. If you can hear, like, my door banging, my daughter's trying to break in. Babe! Sorry. My husband's got, like, one job, and it's like, I need an hour of uninterrupted work time to do this event. So, he's got, like, one job. Take care of two kids. Hello. If you guys are on the team, tag your people that are potential distributors who are interested in this. So... Myself and uh, sorry, we got some questions coming in. Myself and a few of the other leaders, you guys, you know, there's not one walk of person, uh, one walk of life that we all come from. You know, we all have different lifestyles and schedules, come from different backgrounds. Uh, you don't have to have, you don't have to be one kind of person to do this business. And so, um, there's going to be multiple people going live in this event or posting their video. Some of them couldn't go live, so they recorded a video. Um, so that way you can see that it's more than just me and it's more than just whoever you're talking to. There's a whole team of us, okay? So I'm going to give a little bit of background on my journey and, you know, where I'm at today and then go into like the, the questions that y'all want answered, you know, whatever specific questions you have, I'm going to give the generalized information about what we do and, and just kind of how everything works. Yeah. My, I was like, literally, babe, like just watch your children for two seconds while I do this. <laughs> Easier said than done. Okay. So my name is Caitlin Hoffman and I am a double diamond with this company. I've been doing it for two and a half years. Um, I am going to be 29 in a couple months. Um, 
I'm actually excited about it because 29 is my lucky number. So I feel like I'm in my prime right now, which is great. Uh, and basically, I come from, you know, parents who divorced when I was five. Uh, both of them divorced and remarried. So I grew up constantly going to my dad's every other weekend, uh, just shuffling around. My mom was a single mom for a while, and my dad paid child support for, you know, the three kids. And it was just a constant, even when my parents were together, my dad was always looking for a job that paid him more money so we would be more stable. And so that caused us to move around, all around Ohio. And so I was never in, like, one place for too long, it seemed like, until my parents got divorced. And then my mom kind of stayed put in uh, Circleville, Ohio, if you guys know where that is. That's where I'm from. And, uh, yeah, so my mom was a single mom for a while, and we never saw her. Um, I remember just, we, we couldn't really afford, um like healthy foods and even when she did have time to cook it was just like box dinners and whatever was like the most convenient um so that's probably why if you were here yesterday let me know if you guys watched the product videos yesterday let me know if you're like here for day two um or if this is your first time tuning into the event because you just want to talk about being a distributor um but anyways I talked about yesterday how I had like the palate of a 12 year old and I think part of that is because we just couldn't afford fruit and veggies and like the healthy stuff and um it's just kind of the the way that it worked after school we would go to the YMCA and we would be one of the last kids to get picked up because my mom was just trying to work her butt off to support us um I never really knew that we struggled growing up um, okay, cool, Veronica. Um, we never really struggled growing up. At least my parents had, did a good job of hiding it. Um, I wasn't really aware of my, one of my parents' situations until actually within the last two years. Um, but I had a great childhood despite, you know, having a separated family and um, I took on a lot of the responsibility of being the big sister. I'm the oldest of three. So um, I've always been kind of independent and a leader because I've, I've just always had to be, you know, the person in charge. Um, I grew up babysitting my whole life because I was always the oldest one. And so I just had a lot of responsibility. And then when it came to, you know, my school, I was very, very driven to get good grades. I've, I've always gotten A's and B's in school. Um, cause I, I didn't want to struggle. This all started with like, I, I never wanted to struggle, um, financially. And the only way that I thought that was possible, if I could be a doctor, like, cause you know, you hear doctors make good money. And so I was like, you know, that's what I'm going to do. Then I'm going to be a doctor. Um, I was in love with animals ever since I can remember. So I told myself I was just going to be a vet. Uh, that was my dream up until my junior year of college. <laughs> so I, you know, had a 3.8 graduating high school. I got a full tuition scholarship to Shawnee State University. And um, I took, you know, I, I stayed on campus. Um, so I still had school loans, but my school loans were literally room and board. <laughs> I graduated after four years with like 30 grand and just room and board. It was stupid. I should have like just rented a place. Um, but at the time it seemed easier cause I wasn't having to pay anything monthly cause I didn't have time to get a job. So I had like 19 credit hour semesters. It was pre-med classes, all pre-med. I'm talking biology one, two, advanced human anatomy, uh, physiology. Like I had like everything, uh, biochemistry, uh, biotechnology, organic chemistry, one and two and inorganic chemistry. Um, <laughs> I, I took all the, the stuff that I needed to take cause I wanted to be a doctor. Right. So, um, I ended up graduating, uh, cum laude, which is like the middle of the three with honors. Um, and my senior year, I decided to be a pharmacist because I found out that pharmacists make more money than veterinarians do, at least most of the time. And so I was like, okay, well, I'll just go to pharmacy school then. So it didn't, it didn't change my classes or my major or my minor or anything. Um, it was just what 
um, test I was going to take, like an entrance, entrance exam. Sorry, you guys. I'm, I talk about the allergies. I'm super congested right now. Um, so I would have to take the PCAT to get into school versus I think the GRE is all that was required for vet school. But, um, yeah, so I didn't take the test yet because what ended up happening was halfway through uh, college, I ended up marrying my husband. We were together for three years, high school sweethearts. Um, so I got married in between my sophomore and junior year of college, but he was in the Marine Corps. So he went to California because that's where he was stationed and I had a full tuition scholarship. So I had to stay at Shawnee State. So we actually lived apart for the first two years of our marriage. You know, we visited back and forth. But for the most part, you know, I was in school and he was doing trainings. Um, it wasn't ideal. But what ended up happening was I didn't have time to go get another job. I really wanted to focus on my studies and make sure that I had good grades. And so I found a job at our uh, library. And... The, the most you could work there as a student was 16 hours a week. It paid me $100 a week. Uh, they wouldn't let you work more than that. And so I chose the library because it was quiet. And once I got my work done, I could study. And that's what I ended up doing. It ended up being like awesome because I got some money. Like I got paid. It was a job. Um, and I was still able to keep up on my studies. You know, if I was waitressing somewhere, which is really all that I knew how to do, I wouldn't be able to go to the back and just study. So... Yeah, so that's kind of the route I went. Um, I was broke, broke college student. I was raised to be independent, like I said. I got my license when I was 16, and then I didn't drive until I was 18 to purchase my like own car. I had to save up for two years to buy my own car because my parents wouldn't let me drive their vehicles. So I basically got my license and then couldn't drive because they wouldn't put me on their insurance until I could get my own car. So I didn't start driving till I was 18 basically when I purchased my own car and that got me mostly through college until um, it was going to cost more to fix it than you know it was worth. And so my husband ended up purchasing uh, a car, a new car for me because I wanted something that was going to last a really long time and we actually still have that car today. I graduated college in 2012 so it's what 2018 now so six years old. Um, it was a Honda Civic and, uh, I felt bad. I felt bad that he was paying for this car payment, but I literally was so broke. The, the money I was making at the library was paying for my gas to get to school and to, cause I went home like every weekend to get, uh, to and from school and then, uh, groceries, like the food that I needed to survive during the week and any supplies that I needed. That was like all that it paid for. Um, my husband paid for our cell phone bill. He paid for, um, my car. And then when I graduated college, guess what? Guess who paid for my student loans? My husband, not me. Um, so yeah, so I, I didn't end up taking the PCAT or like picking where I wanted to go to school because when I graduated, I was going to move to California to be with my husband finally. But I knew he only had about... A year and a half left in Cali before we would have to move again. I did not want to start a doctorate program somewhere else um, and then have to worry about transferring or things not transferring and they're like being different, you know, maybe different exams. So I, I didn't want to mess with it. So I was like, okay, I'll take this year and a half off to like work and save up some money. And um, after I moved out to San Diego, a month later, he had to deploy. We found out he had to go deploy to Okinawa, Japan for six to seven months. So I was in California with no family. Hardly, I had like two friends that I knew that were out there. Um, and basically, you know, here I am being independent again. I was in charge of moving into our place that we had gotten together. Um, getting everything set up and taken care of. I ended up babysitting out there for my job for this wonderful family. It was fantastic. It was one kid. They paid me $300 a week to watch him from seven to one at their house. Like dream job, like $300 a week to watch a kid, which I grew like I said, babysitting and waitressing was, was all that I knew. And I was babysitting one child who was young. He couldn't go to school yet. For 300 bucks a week and they were the nicest family so I ended up just that's what I did I was babysitting 
and we I got a dog in the process and so when my husband finally came back it was just me my husband and my dog we didn't have that many bills besides my car payment utilities rent and my student loans that was it and just whatever we wanted to do and we were sitting pretty good um then we decided to get pregnant and it took about six months so we got pregnant with my son and um I ended up getting on WIC I didn't even know that was a thing I was like oh my god free food like that would save us so much and so I was one of those people that got you know WIC when I was pregnant um, when I was eight months pregnant is when we moved from California to North Carolina where we are today. So we actually drove cross country in my car. Um, my husband, myself, who was eight months pregnant and in, in December, um, with my dog and then we had a cat right before we left. So that was a fun week. Um, when I got here, I was eight months pregnant. Nobody was going to hire me. You know, because I was going to have to go on maternity leave, like, right away. Um, we didn't know the area or anything at all. So, I had to get established with an OB here. Literally <laughs> saw an OB the entire eight months of my pregnancy and loved him. And then had to move here and kind of go word of mouth to a doctor who actually, thank God he's my doctor. I absolutely love him. Uh, but I saw him like two or three times before I ended up delivering. So it was kind of crazy the situation we were in, but, um, I didn't plan on being a stay at home mom. You guys, like I said, I had that break in between college and, you know, moving to, to California. Cause I was like, when, I, when we get to our next place, you know, that's when I'll, I'll start school and. And stuff and even when we got here I looked the closest pharmacy school for me is four hours away so basically my dreams got put on hold before my husband you know I'm sacrificing my dreams of what I wanted to do ever since I was a kid for my husband and um, I, I was okay with that I guess um, but when they laid my son on my chest that was it I knew, and if you're a mom, maybe you know this feeling, but I knew right then and there that I could never leave him, that I could never let somebody else take care of this child. Like, he, I needed to raise him. I needed to care for him. I needed to be there for him when he was sick. I want to be there for all of his milestones. And I just started crying. I was like, how am I, because my plan was I was going to try to get, get, get work after, you know, about two months or whatever. I started crying because I, I knew that wasn't going to be possible. I knew. I couldn't do it. Um, it's funny because you plan your whole life for something and set yourself up for something. And then like one thing changes everything. And that's what my son was for me. He changed everything for me. And we took a pay cut coming here because I, I wasn't babysitting for that family anymore, obviously. I didn't have a job. And my husband moving from California to North Carolina, it's more expensive in California. So he kind of made more money on the BAH, BAS side, if you know what that is. But, um took a big pay cut coming here and so basically you know my husband understood how I was feeling we're a military family so I probably would have been comfortable if I could let family watch him while I worked but there's no family here the closest family is like nine hours away um we didn't really know that many people here either and so I was just like can't do it uh so we started just living off my husband's paycheck and we were doing okay. We were, you know, couponing and making lists of like things that are necessary. You know, our bills were paid on time, but we weren't doing much else. Um, I opted to breastfeed, which my main reason was because I knew that was going to be healthier. But the other main reason was because it was cheaper. Literally. When I started drying up, when Mason was seven months old, I started crying. Because also, we lost WIC. I couldn't get WIC anymore here because it's a different, like, standard. And we made too much money for it to get to receive WIC. So, I didn't have WIC for formula or anything like that. No more groceries. Um, even though my husband took a huge pay cut coming here, the North Carolina standards, he made too much money. So, I cried over that. Because uh, that... It had helped us a lot. Uh, we needed it more 
here in North Carolina than we really did in California, but just the way that they were set up differently by state, um, that's just what the case was. And so, yeah, bills were paid on time and that was about it. I cried when we had to start formula and I dried up. Uh, formula is expensive. Diapers are expensive. I know the feeling of going to the grocery store and being like, okay, like, <laughs> do I get diapers or do I get formula? Like what? The, it was really, really hard. It was one of those things where we were putting things out of our cart back onto the shelf because it just, we didn't have the money. Um, after I stopped breastfeeding my son, we got pregnant two months later with my daughter. And yeah, so they're 18 months apart. And it's not something we were really ready for. We still had... You know, oh, my husband, when he re-enlisted, he used his enlistment bonus to pay off my car. So we didn't have the car payment anymore, but when we moved here, we couldn't just live off of one car because I had a child. Um, my husband needed a car to get to and from work. So he ended up actually getting a vehicle himself. So we still had a car payment, but we just didn't have two, thank God. We still have my student loans. And so basically what I ended up doing was I was doing photography and babysitting on the side to try to put gas in my husband's car and to help cover groceries or formula or diapers, whatever. Um, when I found out I was pregnant, you know, the, the bedroom set that we had for my son, the, the crib and the, the changing table and the dresser, I actually got from the family that I babysat for in California for free. So when I got pregnant again, I was like, crap, we need a whole nother set. Like we have to give this set to Sydney and then Mason needs a new bed and he needs new dressers. Well, does anybody know, um, what, uh, gosh, what are they called? Like your grandparents, uh, savings bonds. Is that right? And like they have to mature before you can cash them in. I had like a bunch of savings bonds and I ended up using the money that I had for my savings bonds that my grandparents got me when I was little. I had like 10 of them to pay for my son's new furniture because we couldn't afford it. I literally used my savings bond money, cashed it in, thank God it had matured. And I was able to buy. So we weren't really financially in a place to have another child, but we did it anyways. Um, it wasn't very smart. We had a, a, a two dogs now. We didn't have the cat anymore, so we had two dogs and two kids on the way. Um, when my daughter was two months old, my husband and I had $100 to last us a week. A week. Two kids, two dogs. Um... I'm going to cry thinking about it, but, and I know some people have had it worse because like I said, our bills were paid, but that's about all we had. Um, we fought a lot about money and he looks at me and he goes, you have to go get a job. I couldn't do the photography and the babysitting anymore because it was too high stress with two kids under, you know, two and I was by myself. You guys, I didn't have any family. I couldn't just drop my kids off at my mom's for the weekend to take a break. It was just me and my husband was working. And so my sanity couldn't handle trying to babysit other people's kids. I didn't have time to go do the photography. Cindy was breastfeeding. Um, it was just, it was just a lot. So I felt like crap not making money though, but my husband told me, he goes, look, you have to go get a job. Uh, I cried about it probably for two days. And then, um, I started looking for jobs and I was like, okay, what if I work in a daycare? If I work in a daycare, my children can come with me and I'll get a discount. And I was looking up the cost and daycare for two children. Even if you work there and get the discount, you pretty much don't really get much of a discount for the second child. My paychecks, wherever I was going to end up working, would cover daycare and maybe gas. I didn't, there was no profit that was going to be made. I didn't see any other option. Um, so I, I didn't want to be away from my kids. It was my biggest fear. Um, I didn't want to have to get up to an alarm clock and go to a job that I, I would hate and constantly worry, worry about my children and if they were going to be okay. And I, I just, God, it was such a stressful time. But then I prayed. I just prayed and prayed and prayed. I said, please, God, you know, just I need something. So, t tell me, like, where I need to go, where I'm going to work. Because I we have to bring in some extra money. But I don't want to leave my kids. 
I saw a post on Facebook from somebody that I went to school with. I actually graduated with her sister, and she actually graduated with my younger sister, but I knew of her. And she made a post about making $500, a $500 bonus from her phone, and that she was looking to help some people earn this bonus. And I talked to my husband and I said, I think I'm going to ask her about this because if I can stay home and make just enough, if I can make like two to $500 a month to keep me home to cover groceries and your gas to get to and from work, um, then this would be worth it. He goes, I don't know. That's probably a scam. And I had actually like gotten involved with two other scams that I didn't know were scams. Um, one and <laughs> one ended up, I filed a police report for, we got gypped. Basically, I, I was so desperate to work from home that I didn't know what I was doing. And so I looked at him and I said, no, I was like, I know her. Like, she wouldn't lie to me. She wouldn't scam me. Just trust me. Let me get some information. And so she told me some info. I would never heard of the company. I had never tried the products. Um, I didn't even know really what network marketing was. But I was like, okay. I was like, well, if you can help me and teach me what to do. Like, I'm willing to do this. And so she told me it was $100 to start. And my husband got paid. It was, I ended up joining October 2nd. He got paid on the 1st. And so we had that $100 to last us a week. Somehow we made it to payday. Um, I said, I, I need to spend $100 to get started in this business. But there aren't any other fees. And so I just, I need to do this. And he reluctantly said yes. Uh, I probably would have done it anyways because I kind of do what I want to do. Um, we didn't have that $100 to get started. We sacrificed. My husband, um, he was dipping at the time. And so I told him, I was like, look, if you have to cut, he's spending way too much money on dip. I was like, money is tight. You know, we've got to sacrifice some things here or there. Um, and I'm going to, I'm going to make that money back though. And so we spent that hundred dollars and I didn't know what the heck I was doing. I had no sales experience. I hate salespeople. Um, I never tried the products, but I was willing to learn. I spent every second I had learning how to work this business. You guys, my first month I made a $40 paycheck. My husband actually laughed at me. He's like, Oh, $40. I was like, no, you just wait though. And I sold two wraps from my kit. So I made about my $100 back my first month. My second month, my paycheck was $100. My third month is when I went Ruby and I earned that $500 bonus and a $500 paycheck. Three months in, it was incredible. I just worked really hard every single day because the fear of leaving my children was so great that I was willing to do whatever it took. If it, if it was... If, if I had the slightest chance of making money with this business to keep me home with my kids, I was going to do it. And, uh, two months later, so my first five months in, I was making, I promoted to the rank of diamond, um, which is basically halfway up the ladder. And I started making $2,000 a month from my phone, staying home with my kids and a $20,000 bonus at the time. Cause we have promotional bonuses going on right now. We have the Emerald bonus, which is 5,000. And we're going to talk about that in a minute, but, um, five months in and I started making $2,000 a month and, I didn't join this business for that. I joined for the grocery money and for the gas money. After I fell in love with the products and the business and the culture and the people um, and the process, I fell in love with the journey. I saw the potential and I just ran with it. And now, you know, I joined this business so I could stay home with my kids. I do it now, not for myself. I do it for my team. My priority is to help my team achieve their goals and stay home with their kids and pay their bills. And um, it, it's just a, this incredible feeling. And so now I've been doing this for two and a half years. I've My son is four. He just turned four. He's going to start preschool this year. Um, and my daughter is two and a half. Um, I was there for all their milestones. I And I'm not saying you have to be a stay-at-home mom to do this business. But for me... The kind of mom I wanted to be personally, I wanted to be there for everything, um, but I also wanted to be able to provide. Um, I was not okay with my husband paying for everything. So anyways, um, 
last month I actually promoted to the next rank which is double diamond and that averages about five thousand dollars a month and my husband is actually a diamond in the business as well so his paycheck was about two thousand so I make anywhere between five and seven thousand dollars a month now from my phone and I know that might seem crazy you guys but <laughs> the way that our compensation plan up in compensation plan is set up and just how amazing this company is. Anything is possible. So everybody that's watching right now that is considering this business, like, or maybe, maybe you're on the team right now. How much money do you need per month to make this worth it for you? To everybody that's on the team, tell everybody how what your first initial goal was, like why you joined, like how much money you wanted to make for this to be worth it for you. I want to know, um, kind of what everybody's goals are. Um, so I actually work most of the business for him. He pretty much wears t-shirts and a magnet on his car and he's got my business cards on hand. So it's going a little like in depth with it, but I pretty much work his business too. He tries to say, "Oh, look how much money I made." I'm like, "Yeah, you didn't. You didn't do that. That that was me." <laughs> um, Eight hundred dollars a month to stay home and pay your car Five hundred dollars a month. So that's totally doable, you guys. Everything is doable. I joined for an extra two to five hundred dollars a month. Um, you know, if if I could just even cover our phone bill and a car payment or my student loans, like that was going to be worth it for me. Just if you could pick one bill, which bill do you wish like you had extra money to pay for? Maybe like me, all of our bills were paid on time, but it was like minimum payments on time. Like what if you could like double the payment on your school loans and get it paid off sooner? You know? Or maybe, do you have a savings account? I don't care why you need the extra money. I don't care why. To either, you know, build a savings account or a college fund for your children or pay off more than the minimum on a payment. Um, maybe you do, maybe you work a full-time job, but you love your job, but you want to be able to take more time off. Because um, some people work full-time, but they need every hour they can get that they can't afford to take off time from work to stay home with their kids when they're sick because they need that paycheck because that paycheck's going to cover their electric. Like this business can give you that extra income to give you that cushion. Like if you have to stay home, you can even, even if it's unpaid leave that this business is going to come, uh, help cover that extra amount. Yeah, you guys, nobody joins this business because they want to make five grand a month. Yeah, that sounds great, but that's not why anybody starts. I've been doing this for two and a half years now. That's why I'm here. I didn't give up. I kept going and I keep helping my team. So I want to talk. Um, yeah. And so Veronica says to, to get her through college. For for me, I still might go get my doctorate. I've got four years left. I got to take a test and, you know, get accepted and then go through the four years of it. Instead of graduating with student loan debt, this business can pay for my college. So I can graduate debt free with my doctorate, which was my original goal to begin with, if I decide to do that now. So it doesn't mean you have to quit your job to do this business. Or, you know, there are some people who, there were teachers who loved teaching, but she wanted to open her own school and her teacher's paycheck was not going to allow her to be able to afford that. So she quit her job and worked this business full time until she got to the top of the company and makes enough money now to where she's opened her own school and she's, you know, working and doing what she loves because this business, you know, was that avenue for her. That's what this can do for you. Okay. So I want to talk a little bit about what we do and kind of the ins and outs. And I want you guys to ask questions as we go, okay? So it works as the company. We've been around for 17 years. We are actually a debt-free company. There aren't many companies like that, okay? That's why we can give out these bonuses and have an amazing compensation plan. 
Um, we're health and wellness, so we have everything from skincare to weight loss to vitamins. I mean, you guys saw the videos yesterday. Essential oils, um, hair supplement. That's why my hair is 10 hundred years long, and like my nails are bomb. If you guys get hair, skin, and nails, okay? My face is always clear. Um, we have a product for everybody, men, women, young, and old. So our market's everybody. It's not just females and then like only some of them. It's everybody, 18 and older. <laughs> um, and so actually like my children, they the greens choose and the greens blend. They use it. Um, so anywho, we have a product for everybody. Our market is everybody. Um, our products are plant-based. Our CEO... Um, they are very faith-led. Um, I was raised Catholic, but it was kind of forced into it, like forced to go to Sunday school. Uh, I mean, I was received baptism, confirmation, all that stuff. I did it all. And um, once I got married, I stopped going to church. My husband's not Catholic. And we didn't get married in a Catholic church because he doesn't like Catholics. <laughs> but he married me. Um... So I kind of like put my faith off to the side um, after joining this business. You know, not only has it given me financial freedom um, and allowed me, you know, time with my kids that I can't get back. Um, it's given me the biggest family and support system. It's helped get me through my cancer journey and just everybody being so positive and uplifting. You guys, this is a personal card from our CEO and his wife. You guys can't read it. And it says, thinking of you, holding you close in my heart and in my prayers. And it says, Caitlin, we are lifting you up, claiming all of God's promises for complete healing and restoration. May you be filled with his peace and love every day. Love, Mark, Cindy, and your It Works family. Card from my CEO. I don't know how they found out about what I was going through. Um you know, word gets around, I guess, but we have just amazing leadership and, um, support system. And so it led me back to my faith. We recently started going back to church, uh, a non-denominational. I mean, it's not really important, but I feel God has put it on my heart and this company has helped me to where, you know, now like I I'm growing as a person and I, you know, I'm just really happy with where I'm at right now. And a lot of it is because of this company. Um, I'm able to give back more now. Um, I've paid off things. I now, you know, have paid for, I have a 2015 Honda Odyssey Touring Elite that I, that is solely paid for for the last year now off of my It Works money. My husband bought my first, or I bought my first car, but it was like a piece of junk. Um, my husband bought my second car, which we still have. It's now his car. Um, and I hated that he paid for my school loans and he paid for that car. And so now, like, I wanted to be able to pay for my own vehicle and we needed a van. We just, we got three dogs now and two kids. We needed a van. Um, you know, I'm giving him his dream truck at the end of this year. So I'm really excited about that. We started looking into that. I just rented a houseboat um, for my team. Everybody's kind of competing for that. But I get to just give back and do so much more. I'm going to start working with um, um, a children's cancer um, foundation thing to start giving back monthly to, you know, just research for um, childhood cancer and stuff because it's just kind of something personal for me. And, um, yeah, just everything you guys, oh my God, it's so life changing. Okay. So anyways, back to this business, I use social media. Our team is mainly social media. I didn't have time with two kids under two to get out of the house and go talk to people in person. I'm pretty introverted and shy anyways, that like when I was going to the grocery store, I would like look down and not make eye contact with anybody. Um, cause I didn't want anybody to start talking to me. Cause usually what happens is I say something stupid. Like, they make me nervous, and then I, I just mumble a bunch of words that don't make any sense. Um, this business has helped me get out of my bubble a little bit, which I love. Um, so I look forward to talking with people now. Um, but I, I've done, I did everything 
You guys, I posted maybe two part real parties in my life. Um, well, in this business, everything else I've done through social media. And so I don't want you to be a salesperson. I want you to be coachable. And if you go to my page, I don't look like a salesperson. I just kind of show you my life, what this business is doing for me and others. And you know what I love about the products and what they're doing for other people. That's it. It's kind of like a blog basically. Um, so social media is nice. You can do in-person stuff. If you want, you can do whatever you're comfortable with. We don't have required monthly quotas. We don't have required monthly fees. It's literally the business kit to get started. And that's it. You can start making money. Um, we have team pages. We have daily trainings from our team and top leaders in the company. Okay. Um, all that training is free. You get to pick the goal and what you want to shoot for. And our job is to help you get there. Now, we can't work your businesses for you, but we can help you get there. Um, what? Tell me, like, what? what is the thing that is holding you back right now? Um, a lot of you are going to say you don't have the money to get started. I know. I didn't either. And every single person that has joined this business didn't either. That's why we needed this business. We didn't join because we had money laying around. We joined because we needed money. So we've had people sell furniture, sell clothes, sell shoes, sell purses, sell old baby items, babysit, mow somebody's lawn, borrow the money because you're going to make that money back. Um... You know, people have charged credit cards. People have skipped, like, their phone bill. Um, and you decide it isn't for you. There, there's no, like, penalty for quitting. You're, when you sign up, your account is active for an entire year. I've had, Cassie might be on here right now, Cassie Walker. She signed up, didn't do a single thing for eight months. Decided that, okay, she was tired of wasting time in this opportunity and she needed this business. And she started working her business there. Then she's about to be Ruby making $500 a month. She didn't do anything for eight months after she signed up. Now, she hates herself for doing that. Um, but if you decide down the line this isn't for you, there's no penalty for quitting. Keep asking your questions, you guys. Um, so, the fact that you don't have an extra $100 to get started isn't an excuse. Yeah, it is only 49 right now. It's only 40. I was going to get to that, Ashley. Um, so for the last 17 years, it's been $99 to get started. Um, except for last June and it was only $10. It was a really crazy deal. Um, so right now it's actually $49 to start. It's 50% off till Saturday. Saturday's the last day you guys, but if you don't have an extra $50 to get started, you need this more than you think you do. More than ever. So don't let that be an excuse as to why you don't get started. If you don't have an extra $50, you need this opportunity. I spent $99 to turn that into $5,000 a month. Isn't that worth it? Would it be worth it to you if you spent $100, well, $49 today to turn around next month and you start making $200 a month? Isn't that worth it? Is that worth it to you? Because if you don't have an extra $49 right now and you don't do this opportunity, you don't take this opportunity, what's your plan for next month? When it comes time to the end of the month, are you going to be in the same exact spot that you are right now? Or are you going to take a chance on an opportunity and change your situation? Nothing changes if nothing changes, you guys. You can't lose with this. The only way you lose is if you quit. Okay. You don't have to be a salesperson. You don't have to know many people. You don't have to pay fees. You have to get started with the business kit, but that's it. You have to invest just that you get, um, uh, I don't have the business kit with me, but you actually get stuff with it. You get like a magazine and you get a bracelet. You get a box of four wraps. This comes in there and it's got like four individual wraps in it. You can use these yourself or you can sell them for $25 a piece. So actually, you could profit like $50 for starting. Um, you could have those wraps sold before your kit even arrives, okay? So stop making excuses. Yes, it's scary and you're nervous and you're not sure that you have any time. Well, guess what? You're not the only person who works a full-time job. Um, you're not the only person who's a mom. You're not the only person who has all this stuff going on in your life. Every single person is busy and we don't have any extra time. But the reason you're considering this in the first place is because you need this opportunity. You just kind of need somebody to push you to, to just start. 
There's stop waiting for the perfect time to get started because there's never going to be a perfect time. Um, you know, our job, I will literally, when you join whoever it is that invited you, you join their team, which means you join my team. I will teach you everything that I do. I will teach you, show you everything that it is that I did to start making $500 in three months, $2,000 in five months. Okay? Tell me what you guys are afraid of. Tell me what you guys are afraid of. It is my job. You don't have to know any people. Like I said, that's why social media is so great. I have customers in Australia. We're in like 22 other countries, you guys. So we're opening in Mexico sometime this year. So we're constantly expanding into new um, to countries and new areas and always finding new people. I talk to people all the time who have never even heard of us. I wear a lot of our gear. We have the cutest clothes. I'm not wearing one right now. I have a bracelet on. But, uh... When I'm out and about, people ask me about my, my clothes. Um, I always have wraps on hand. I've had somebody stop me in the grocery store because they saw my wrap shirt. And they said, oh my god, do you have any wraps on you? And I'm like, yeah, I do. And they're like, can I get two of those? I've been like me meaning to order some and I just, I need two like right now. Like, yeah. She gave me $50 cash in the grocery store and I gave her two wraps. And that paid for my, uh, part of my groceries that day. And so, you know, we make commission from our sales, commission from our team sales, wrap cash weekly, $100 bonuses, which are unlimited. Um, I earned 100 this week. I earned 200 last week, and I earned 100 the week before that. On top of my paycheck and my husband's paycheck and any wrap cash that I make, we don't purchase and carry inventory. Like, people just go to your website, which is already set up for you, and the company ships it for you. We teach you everything there is to know. So how do you file taxes? It's a 1099. We file as self-employed. Uh, and so basically what you're going to want to do, instead, like with a W-2, they automatically take taxes out of your paycheck, right? With this, they don't. And so what we recommend is saving at least 30% of your check into like a savings account. You get, um, you save your receipts for write-offs. So any money that you spend to invest back into your business, whether, you know, you buy a new phone, like my phone bill and my internet bill, our write-offs because I work from my phone and from home with my internet and social media. Um, I just bought a, a, a new Mac desktop. This this is a, a business write-off. I use this to work my business. And so the last two years I haven't had to pay anything because I've saved my money and I make sure that I had at least 30% um, and write-offs. And if that, if that doesn't make any sense to you, don't worry. Like I have a video that explains everything and we're going to help you with that. But Long story short, it's a 1099 form. Now, I've also had some people who are afraid to join this business because they didn't want to lose their disability or they didn't want to lose um, their WIC or whatever. And it's like, okay, would you rather struggle and, and use that WIC and government assistance or would you rather get yourself into a position where you don't need it anymore? Like, do you want to live off that the rest of your life or do you want to make more money to where you don't need that assistance anymore and you don't have to rely on that wick anymore, you know? So it's really like, you know, your call. What other question? I want to know what's holding you guys back because also anybody that joins right now while we're doing this, I have um, a special drawing for everybody. Your first worry was a lack of product knowledge. Comment below if you end up signing up while we're doing this. Uh, get with your person. Yeah, our team is so, so helpful. You literally don't have to have experience or know what whatever the heck you're doing. You don't have to know because we will teach you. So just be coachable. Be at least 18, have a smartphone, and be coachable. Those are like the three things that we need, and that's it. The rest is history. Sorry, I had a thing pop up. Give me your questions, you guys. What are your questions? So for me, like, I, I cook and I clean. I take care of three dogs and two kids. My husband goes to work. 
I work my business wherever my phone is, wherever it is where with it's with me. Sometimes I have to stop for a second while I'm holding my child or reading her a book. I can respond back to my team if somebody has a question. Most of what I do is after they go to bed, everybody's schedule is going to be different. Um, it's going to take you between two and three months. Um, okay. Um, it's going to take you between one and three months to find a schedule that works for you. But you get to go at your own pace, okay? You want to run, we'll run with you. If you want to walk, we'll walk with you until you're ready. Okay, I'm not seeing anybody reason anybody's reasons why they haven't started yet. So does that mean everybody's going to get started that's watching? You've only got 3 days for the for the deal tonight, tomorrow and Saturday for the $49. After that you're going to pay $100, which I would have paid knowing what I know now. I would have paid $5,000 to get started in this business to turn it into what it has today. For real. It's going to be scary. And. <laughs> that's normal. It was scary for me. But my fear of. Just constantly living paycheck to paycheck. And leaving my children and being miserable. The rest of my life was you know. A huge fear of mine. And I wasn't going to. I was going to let that drive me. Um. And it has, and it's paid off, and I'm forever grateful for this business. I'm going to start calling people out. Okay, well, if nobody has any questions, you guys, I'm going to end this. There's a couple other leaders who, who told their story and gave their information. Um, you're more than willing or more than welcome to watch. You're still scared and you're in the business. Well, you just started, Emily. You started. You've been doing it for like a week. How do we know that it's not a scam? There's a lot of other people asking to sign up for other ones. What do you mean about that second part? How do you know it's not a scam? I filed 1099 forms. It's a tax form that I file with the IRS. The company's been around for 17 years. Um, it's just a, a, it's a direct sales company. Like LuLaRoe, Avocare, Unique, Mary Kay, 31, Origami Owl, Pure Romance. It works. They're all legit. They're all just different companies. Um... So, I've been, like I said, I was a part of two other scams and one I had to file a police report for. Uh, police report for. This isn't that, for sure. I wouldn't be here two and a half years later. Um, like, I have a certificate. My double diamond one is in the mail because I just did it last year. I've got a flag that says it works. Um, I went on a cruise, um, like I said, our CEO, like, sent me a card, Mark and Cindy Pentecost, um, scams don't have real products, we did, uh, these are all of our products, so, I don't know what you mean by scam, but, um, we've got real products, and it's paid my car payment. Um, and plenty of other things for the last two and a half years. Those scams don't do that. <clears throat> Any other questions, you guys? Now, I'm not saying you're going to make a million dollars overnight. And I'm not saying you're going to make $5,000 overnight. It took me two and a half years to get here. Okay? I worked my butt off. And the truth is, I can teach you everything that I've done to get to where I am but if you're not willing to um, put in the work and, and do what I told you that I did then you can't expect it to go anywhere you write your own paycheck I'm trying to get my friend to join as a DT but she thinks it's sketchy um, I actually have a video Megan that you can send your friend that 
I did a live like this in a team page and I told my story and talked about the company. Um, or we can get on a three-way, like you and I and her can get on Facebook Messenger and we can chat. Yeah, everybody's going to be skeptical. It's it's becoming more popular to do doing like network marketing and stuff. Definitely when I started two and a half years ago, I didn't even think this was a thing or that people made this kind of money at all. Um, you just, you just kind of have to trust me on that one. I wouldn't be live on Facebook or you can go to my Facebook page and read everything that I do. Um, if it was a scam, I'd be in jail by now. <laughs> okay. Any other questions? I'm trying to keep up here with Okay, you guys, if you don't have any other questions, feel free to go watch the other leaders' videos and, you know, what they think about this business and what this journey has done for them. Um, I see that Leslie shared her journey and Cassie shared hers, and I see mine so far. We have some other leaders that are supposed to. Um, if they don't, they just got caught up. Most of us are moms, but some of us just have busy lives and work schedules, and uh, we do the best with what we have. So I hope this was helpful. Um, I didn't see too many questions, so hopefully you guys are ready to join. I look forward to seeing you guys on our team page. Um, when you get signed up, please take advantage of this opportunity. If you've been thinking about it the, just the slightest bit, do it. You're going to make your money back. Um, and if you decide this isn't for you, there's no penalty. You don't have required fees. You're not losing money. Um, you can actually earn a $100 shopping spree to try some products. You can earn a $5,000 Emerald bonus, which is one of the promotional bonuses going on right now. Um, you're always going to ask yourself, what if? What if I had, had done that? Where would I be today? Um, the, the one regret I have in this business was I wish I would have started the day I turned 18 versus when I was 25 or however old I was when I joined. I think it was 25. Uh, yeah, because I'll be, it'll be three years this year. Um, so 26? I don't know. October 2015 is when I joined. <laughs> My brain is fried. So, you know, joining, you're not going to know unless you, you give it a go, right? Like, you do, you're not going to know if the wraps work unless you, like, try them, right? So that's kind of one of those things. Where you just, this business can be for everybody, but it's not for everybody. Uh, some people just are impatient, um, or the whole tax thing. There's nothing scary about it. It's just W-2s, they take your taxes out right away. With 1099s, you just save 30% of your paycheck into your savings and keep all your receipts for write-offs, and you're good. Yeah, CPA can help you. It's not hard. Um, I'm, I'm like tax retarded. And I pretty much taught myself and, and learned because this was a whole new thing. We were used to just going in with my husband's uh, W-2 from the Marine Corps and being like, here, this is it. And they're like, okay, you're done. It's a little lengthier, <laughs> lengthier of a process when it comes to filing. Um, but... It's not hard, especially if you have somebody to help you. Like I said, I have a video that kind of explains it a little more. If that's your only fear, then do it, girl. Do it. Can you file online? So, yep, I did mine through uh, TurboTax. I filed myself. Yep. 
because they 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 do the 1099s and you can do the write off section and stuff for your business. Because we file as self employed. It's like anybody that you know owns a business that files as self employed. It's the same thing. Da, da, da. Any other questions? So it's great. Being a customer, you can, some people really want to try the products, which I wanted to know that the products I was selling worked, right? But I was too broke to afford the products, and I had the opportunity to earn a shopping spree when I started, and we needed the money so bad, and I was so afraid to leave my children that I took a blind leap of faith into this. I, I basically just trusted the person I was talking to. Uh, um, it could have backfired. It could have, but it didn't. And no, like I said, knowing what I know now, I would have joined the day I turned 18 because that would have made me doing this for 10, 11 years now. I can't even imagine. So I look forward to seeing where I am five years from now. Um, I can't upload my video. Sorry, we have some questions going on in our chat. Any other questions? I'm going to pick uh, a winner for the um, who participated in the, the product stuff yesterday. And um, I want to pick... If anybody from tonight signs up tonight as a distributor, you're going to go into a drawing um, and I'm going to let you pick a product from my stash. So, uh, Ashley, I, I hadn't either, but the great thing is, like, we have so many other people who have uh, before and afters and testimonies in this business that I shared those and, and other people's testimonies until I could, I earned my shopping spree. I ordered some products, tried it. I've fallen in love with everything. I use absolutely everything. Everything, like, look at this. This is what hair, skin, and nails has done for me. My hair was like falling out and I was almost bald after my second child. And, uh, I mean, I don't have extensions. This is all real. My hair is healthy, thick. My nails are amazing. All of this stuff is great. So you'll, you'll have time to get like, results with the products yourselves and that does help that helps your sales when I show people my hair skin and nails results they're sold right away because I have personal results with it um, but you will get you will get to that point yeah Alyssa hadn't hadn't tried anything when she started and if you decide that you get started and you're helping other people and you try their products and you don't like them like I said there's no penalty to quit um, but I get texts from my customers on almost a weekly basis who are obsessed and thank me for introducing them to these products. And so, um, yeah, a lot of people didn't try them at first either, but she's loved everything she's tried so far. Yep. So... Anybody that joins tonight, I'm going to make a separate post in here. I want you to comment on it and let me know. Um, yeah, Cassie hadn't tried anything, and she's lost 70 pounds now using our products in the keto lifestyle. It's incredible. You guys, I'm going to be here 10 years from now doing the same exact thing and um, helping more people each and every day. And so... If you could use some extra money and just a change, you couldn't find a better team. Our leaders in this team are absolutely incredible. Positive, uplifting, no drama, no negativity. Um, all we do is help each other. There's constant trainings. And Did you ever struggle getting people to purchase? No, I didn't because I had other people's testimonies and before and after pictures and as soon as I could start trying products, I did and I talked about it. Yeah, Cassie's going to be here 10 years from now with me. Um, so, 
You can either keep watching the person who invited you. You can keep watching their journey. I've had people wait two and a half years to join me. Okay, they literally watched my journey for two and a half years. And they're like, okay, I'm done watching yours. I'm ready to start mine. So you can either join and start your own journey and see what it can do for you and your family and absolutely change your life. Or you can keep watching our journeys. And that doesn't help you any. But um, we want to help you. Now, do people, do every single person that I talk to say, says yes? No. But, uh, like Keisha? Yeah, Keisha watched me for a really long time. Cassie waited forever, and then she joined, and then waited to start working for, like, eight months. <laughs> so she waited a while, even after taking the opportunity. Some people just need something to happen in their personal life for them to say, okay, enough is enough. Like I'm done settling. Um, I deserve more. My family deserves more. It's time to take a chance on something. And that's what she did. What if a lot of people do buy the products from you? Then that's a bigger paycheck for you. We make money off of our sales and our team sales and the whole other bunch of bonuses. Yeah, Alyssa actually joined and didn't really do anything and kind of quit and her account canceled out. And then she rejoined <laughs> after she decided that she really needed this opportunity and that she wasted it the first time. <laughs> We're one big family. A lot of us, is, a lot of us have met because of social media and haven't met in person. And we're just we're all best friends. It's it's crazy. We have a team of over like four hundred people too. Um, and I, I I love to get to know each and every person. So. All right, you guys. I could literally talk forever, but. Nobody probably wants that. I can continue answering questions like in the comments. Um, I'm going to get announced the winner for the products. And anybody who joins tonight, I'm going to do a separate post for that. You're going to be entered into a drawing for a product of your choice for my stash. Which... So, like I said, we don't purchase and carry inventory, you guys. I have a personal stash because I'm obsessed with everything. But... I've got some goodies. Okay. If y'all don't use them, I'm literally, I use everything. I don't sell anything in person unless somebody like asks me for it. I had somebody from my neighborhood see the magnet on my car and she messaged me because we're in a neighborhood page and she goes, Hey girl, it's an emergency. Do you have any thermophyte on hand that I could buy off of you? And it was actually my last unopened bottle. And because all my stuff is personal use, but people who need it, you know, I made 40 bucks and gave her some thermophyte and just ordered some more. Okay. I'm for real going to go. But thank you guys for tuning in. You guys are incredible. I look forward to answering any more questions you have. Get with the person who invited you and just kind of tell them what your game plan is. Try to get started by Saturday. If not, it's still worth it for the $99, I promise. All right, you guys, have a great night. I, I, about an hour. See, I did it about an hour again. I'm pretty proud of myself. All right, you guys, bye.